Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Meet to conduct your meeting. Now, Meet is another alternative to Zoom. As we know, Zoom is paid. You can only use Zoom for some number of minutes if you are a free user, up to 40 minutes. Anything above 40 minutes, it will log you out and you have to re-log in. So that's disruptive. If you have a longer meeting, I strongly recommend you try Google Meet, which is completely free of charge. The good side of it is that you don't even have to own a Google account to start using it. But if you have a, a Google account, it will make things easier for you. As you all know, Google account also creating it is completely free of charge. You can just go to Google and start creating your Gmail account email. So there are two ways to access Google Meet. The first one is after you've signed in into your Gmail account, you come to this Google Apps over here. So you can just check on it. And you can see it here, meet. If it's not in a position you like, you can always move it to any position. You can just move it to the top over here. And once you click, it's going to kickstart your Google Meet. Alternatively, you can just come to your browser and just type meet.google.com and it's going to bring you same to this same platform. What you notice is that you have the option to start a new meeting or if you have a code that was shared with you by someone, you can easily paste in the code or paste in the link and join the meeting directly. For this tutorial, let's learn how to start a new meeting. Okay, So you come to new meeting and you have these three options. The first one is you can create a meeting for a later time or you can start an instant meeting if you want to start meeting now, right now directly as and you just invite others, you just enter and start a discussion immediately. So you have the option to kickstart instant meeting and then you can schedule the meeting on Google and share it with your friends, with your colleagues or your, your business partners. So in creating a link for another time, you can click over here and you can just have the access to select and just uh, copy this link and send to them. If you want to meet them at another time, you can just copy this link, share with them. And once they click on the meeting link, they can uh, as well join. So just like, just like the way you have over here, you can easily uh, click to just join. And in cases when you have to start a new meeting, uh, instant meeting. So let's start instant meeting by clicking on start an instant meeting over here. So once you start an instant meeting, you can see it's loading and it just activates and this is it. You've kickstarted your instant meeting. Now you can see to the left over here, you have the option to add members or you can copy the link to this particular meeting and share with your friends or your team members. So you can just copy this and share with them or you can click over here to add them directly. So you can easily invite people within your email or you can just type their, their email address, for example, this one, or you can select multiple and you can write something to them if you want. Or you can just go ahead and send directly. So you can just send and it's going to send an invite to them to join you in this meeting. Or alternatively, you just copy this and paste to them or send to your email address or via WhatsApp and they can join as well. So once you're on any meeting, you can see my camera is on and this is because I enable it. You can on and off it, you can off and on it directly from here. And the image that is going to show is the image that you have attached to your gmail account that's the image that is going to show if you want to change you can change it um you can off the mic or you can enable the mic in cases when during the meeting you don't want to talk you can mute yourself so you don't even while you are talking nobody is going to hear you and you can unmute whenever you want to speak up in the meeting you can on your camera to also be able to talk during the meeting as well. And then over here is to enable the caption. If you want to enable the captions, you can just select over uh, on this and you'll be surprised how it's going to be translating what I'm going to say. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Rashid teaching you how to use Google Meet. And you can see how powerful the translation is. It's very, very powerful and very correct. So if you like, you can include some emojis if you want during the uh, meeting, maybe you like something, you can always give a love sign or you can give a thumbs up or you can just indicate some happy sign. Or if you are not so happy, you can give this uh, thumbs down sign or the about. So it's just an indication of a reaction or trying to create an engagement 
through the meeting. Next you have, you can share your screen in cases if during the meeting you want to share a particular tab to show some people what you are working on. For example, I can just show them my, one of my tabs or you can just go ahead and select anything from here. If you want to show a given tab, you can just select and go ahead and share by just clicking on share and everyone in the meeting is going to have access to this, this uh, tab that you've just shared. If you want to stop sharing, you can stop it from here by just clicking on stop sharing and it will stop sharing. Once I click on stop sharing, then I can, I'm, I'm back with my Google Meet and I'm no more sharing my screen. So you can see the next thing is, so if you don't want to share a tab, you can share a complete window. You can select which window you want to share accordingly, okay, from the windows that you have opened on your system. Once you select that window, click on share, it's going to share it to your um, to your team members. And then you can share the entire screen. You can check out windows if you want to share windows, okay? If you want to share the entire window, for example, you want to share what is in my Chrome browser, you can just select and share, or you can share the entire screen. If you don't want to share a given section of the screen, you can go ahead and share the entire screen by just selecting this and go ahead and click on share and everything is now being shared. So now everything in your screen is now being visible. So you can go ahead and show some things. For example, I can come to this launch pad and show some things and people in this meeting can now see my launch pad and what, and what programs I have within my system. So once you're done, you can just still come back and stop the sharing also. You can stop sharing or you can hide this from here for either stop the sharing. Okay, so I'm back. So you can see right now, the next thing is you can raise up your hand during the meeting. Instead of you to open your mic and raise up your hand, you can do that digitally from here. By just clicking on this, it indicates that you have a question that you want to ask, or you just have a contribution to the meetings that you want to make. Now, the next thing is these three dots. There are a number of things you can do from here. You can enable the whiteboard. You can click and start the using the whiteboard. Now, whiteboard is important because it is used for illustrations during the meeting. Maybe you want to showcase one idea or the other. You can be able to do that with this uh, within uh, within Meet. So you can just come over, select the pen, what kind of pen you want to use, and what kind of illustrations you want to give. You can just easily give that. And with the eraser, you can erase any section of the illustration that you have very easily. You can just uh, erase any section of it. And then you can use the, the cursor also to illustrate, to demonstrate one or two things. And then you have the sticker note, uh, sticky notes to just write. Once you write and hit on save, you can see you can write anything. You can choose any color on the sticky note. And you can see you are adding values and you can move them across and even have more other uh, features or options from here to edit, duplicate, to delete, and do other things also from here. So a range of things you can do, and you can bring in images, okay? You can add image within your system. Uh, you can easily just bring them in uh, for illustrations as well. You can upload, you can link up, you can check webcam, or you can use Google images to just uh, bring the image, or from Drive or Photos, you can bring in uh, all of those images directly. So it's very easy to even add shapes. You can add circle if you want to add a circle or you long press this to see more shapes or you can just check this small arrow. You can add different kind of shapes, maybe rectangle or any shape of your choice. And you can go ahead and add in text, uh, text boxes if you want to, if you need to add in some illustrations within the text box. So that's the beauty of the whiteboard just for illustration. You can set background if you want at the beginning. Uh, to just kick start so you can see you have a, you have you now have a, a, a background and, and, and at any given point you can clear the frame by just clicking on clear and everything is now cleared so you'll come back to your meeting okay so maybe you can close this you can come back to the meeting now you can close on whiteboard another thing still within the three dots we can change the layout from the normal automatic layout that we have we can put it to tiled view so we can have multiple views. Maybe if you want to take in a um, picture of the meeting members, you can just put in the tile view and you can maximize the number of people you have within a particular screen. The default is about 16, or you can increase. Or you want to spotlight, or you can use sidebar so you can see the, the person speaking at the big screen and the others are 
located here. So this is just uh, to give you some control during your meeting. Still on the three dots, you can open picture in picture if you want. So you can see the, the rest of the meeting. This is you by the side conducting the meeting. So you can go ahead and still continue with your meeting, but the main screen is here. Okay, or we'll continue with other things uh, while the meeting is still going on. And you can bring back the meeting and you can continue directly. So still within the three dots, you can go full screen if you want. Right now I'm on full screen. You can see nothing is showing except me at the and the uh, uh, meets Google Meet. So you can still come back, put your picture, apply visual effect. This is uh, interesting. If you want to add ba different background, if you don't want to add any background, you can use your natural background that you have here. Or if you want to blur a little bit, you can add blurriness to your background a little. Or if you want to thick up uh, blood, blood background, you can see from my background, everything is now blurred. This is the one of the effects. Now, if you want to add different kind of video options or effects, you can click with just one click. You can see um, you can change the views to any view of your choice. You can see these are a little bit of uh, videos that you can see behind me. And they are very good during meetings just for demonstration purpose, although they take some data, okay? They take some data and if you're not careful, if you don't have strong network, you might not actually enjoy uh, working with, with them. Now you can see I, I just uh, manually put in this cap and I think I kind of like it. Let me put it back because uh, it looks fine on me. So <laughs> it's just an illustration that you can put this and because it's AI, it quickly de de detects my face and even my head and with the air earphones and I like it like that. So if you want to add background, you can add different kind of background. These are background effects that you can add easily to your meeting. Okay, you can select any background you can add. And if you don't have, if you don't want the ones they have, okay, they have multiple. If you don't want, you can still add your own from here. So all you need is just to click and you can navigate to wherever you have your background. You can select, for example, I want to add this background and just select and I can make it my background easily. So you can see, you can add any background of your choice. So there are filters as well. If you want to add filters, you can see different kind of filters. Uh, let's select this one and see a sample of, of it, what effect it's going to have on me. Yes, so the, there are different kind of filters that you can put actually during your meetings and you can put different kind of styles. You can see different, different kind of styles that you can add and they make meaning to your meetings. So this is the beauty of effects. You can add different effects during your meeting. And let's close on this and still on the three dots, you can apply effects. You can turn on captions, just like the way we have shown in the other one. Let's try it one more time here. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Rashid teaching you how to use Google Meet. So you can disable the caption and let's continue. You can see the accuracy. You can still be on the three dots and you can report a problem, report abuse, troubleshoot. And at any given point, you can open the settings to review or to select devices. For example, if you want to select your microphone, you can be on the audio. You can select the given microphone you want to work with. If you have a number of microphones attached to your system, you can select the ones you want to use. And you can enable the push to talk, okay? Press and hold the space bar to just talk. You can enable this control. So whenever in the meeting you want to talk, you can just hold down the space bar on your keyboard and you can start talking it will automatically unmute you. And then you can select the speaker or the speaker option. Which one, how do you want it? If you want to use the default is the device mic or spe uh, speaker. And you can always test it from here. All right, if you are okay with the sound, then you can continue. Now you can go to video options and select the video that you want to use, the camera that you want to use, and then you can send resolution, uh, set the resolution over here. This is automatic. You can make it high resolution, high definition, 720, or you can go to standard definition, which is 360. But still on each one, you should be wary of your data. If you have a strong network, then you can do that. Then we receive resolution. This is sending resolution. You can change the receive resolution as well to high definition. I recommend you go with automatic, but in cases if you are starting with your network, you can still go with high definition 720p, which is very okay. And then you have the general settings. In general settings, you can set um, additional diagnostics over here and you can leave empty calls. Or you can enable all these features from here and captions also. You can define the language of the caption Previously, we've shown how it is being done in English. You can select any language, maybe Russian, 
And when you start speaking, it will start translating in Russian. And then you can go to reactions. You can see different kind of reactions. You can enable uh, sound effects and animations and show reactions from others. They will be able to show. But if you don't want to see from others, you can disable from here as well. So these are some very basic controls that you can have. So once you off this, Okay, so the next thing is you can check out the people that are in the meeting from here. You can see the number of people that are in the meeting and you can privately chat on them or you can mute or unmute or pin or unpin uh, someone from here as the administrator and you can always add more people from here. Next, you can see the chats, okay, people that have chatted within the messages. You can write a message to a particular person or to the group, okay. You can select a given message a person within the meeting and write him a message or to the entire meeting. You can do that from here. And then you have this control where you can enable the whiteboard or you can record the screen. If you want to record the screen, you can record or you can do live streaming also if you want. You can also try all this if you are interested. You can uh, check out the host controls from here. There are a bunch of controls that you can enable, uh, like you can enable people to share their screen, send chat messages or send reactions. You can disable all this if you want. You can enable all this if you want from here. So these are all your controls, your admin controls that you can enable or disable. So this is just the basics on how to use the Google Meet to attend your meetings. You can always uh, co comment or talk accordingly. And if you are starting or you are done with the meeting, you can always click on this to exit the meeting. So it's this simple. You just click, come to you that just leave the call or end the call for everyone. If you want to leave, you can leave on your own and allow others to continue the discussions. Or if you want to end the call for everyone, you can end the call for everyone as well. So we've just ended the call. And at any given point, you can give a rating. This is five star. I like it. And then you can create, let's say one more thing, schedule a meeting in Google Meet. So you can go to Google Meet and schedule the meeting. If you want, you can allow this and then you can schedule the meeting directly from your Google Calendar. So you can say Toastmasters meeting with DVD, Division Director, for example, this is the title. And then you can put in the date you can select the date and you put the time. You can select any time from which time to which time you can select Okay, the same date, this is the date that and the time zone, you can set the time zone also from here. It's very quick and very fast. You can set it and you can set everything. You can add location if you want, add notification, you can get reminder 30 minutes and 30 minutes and you can set in which account you want to use. Select event color, you can select event color and you can add some descriptions to the event or add some images or put in some things while still dealing with the text editing features over here. So once you're done, you can just go ahead and save. And this meeting is going to save within your be saved within your calendar. So at any given point, you can double click to see the meeting details and make some edits if you're interested. So ladies and gentlemen, this is just a bit about how to use Google Meet for a beginner, how to start a meeting, how to join an existing meeting, or how to create a link and just share and just start an instant meeting with your coworkers or with your business partners. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.